Southeast is the only zone in Nigeria that has five states. Other zones in Nigeria have six, seven states in their zones. But only Southeast has five states. Now, one of the reasons why Southeasterners, Igbos, feel marginalized in Nigeria is because of things like this. They feel that they are shortchanged. They feel that the state or the country is not doing, is not being fair to them. The question is, why would other regions have more than six states or six states? Why Southeast alone has five states? Is that proper? The answer is no, from my opinion. Now, this agitation is on. More than four proposals for new states have been pushed at the National Assembly. At a point in time, I was even proposing on a funny level that why not create a Sukwato state? <laughs> More than four proposals have been pushed. The first proposal that was made public was the Olu state. The second proposal is a Titi state. The third proposal is the Anyoma state. Why the current and the hottest one on ground now is the Abba state. Now, most of these states that are being proposed are not new. Proposals like this have been around for a while. While Anyoma will be cut, Anyoma State will be cut out from Delta State. And then they are proposing that Anyoma State will be added into the Southeast State. Yes, Anyoma people are Igbo. Despite some of them sometimes deny, but they, most of them profess that they are Igbos. So there is no gain say, there is no argument. And if you look at Ohaneze, they are part and parcel of Ohaneze. So, which other state? The Abbas state, which is being pushed or proposed by Honorable Jinjo Unsibe and some other people, is going to be cut out from Abia state. The Ungwa axis of Abia state, the local governments in that axis will be taken off to create what is called Abbas state. The next state is a Titi state that has been pushed in collaboration with other people by Honorable Amo Bioga. A Titi state is a little bit more interesting because all the five states in the Southeast will make contributions of parts of their geographic, part of their states to make up the Etiti state. Then we have the Olu state. The Olu state is from Olu to some parts of Anambra state joined together to create Olu state. Now, these are the four states that have been proposed at the National Assembly for state creation in the Southeast. There are conditions before a state will be created. By our constitution in this country, first is that you must make a demand for a state, which is what most of the legislators are doing at the moment. The request for a new state must come from at least two third of local government areas in the area desiring new states. So demands have been made. And of course, the request must be supported by a simple majority of elected members representing the area in the National Assembly or State Assemblies. So most of these demands or proposals seems to have passed this particular stage. Another stage which must be followed is the referendum stage. The proposal must be approved in a referendum by at least two thirds of the people in the area where the new state is proposed. That is another condition precedence before a state can be created. Another one, which is the third one, is the National Assembly approval. 
the, the, the proposal must be approved by a simple majority of members in each house of the National Assembly. That is both the House of Rep and the Senate. And the final one is that the president's assent, the proposal must receive the president's assent. These are conditioned precedents before a state can be created. I know most of you, most of you are beginning to ask, when will I talk about my headline? Where, when I said that the chances of creating an extra Southeast state, to me, is an illusion. <laughs> Why did I say so? It is simple. For you to be able to create an extra state in a particular zone or region, one key factor that is very important is harmonization. That key factor, again, is common front. That key factor is common decision. At the moment, four state proposals have been made to be created in Southeast. Is it impossible for these legislators to sit down, agree among themselves and harmonize, and push for one single state? By doing so, you will have a united front to agitate for this one single state. By doing so, you would have the capacity to lobby with the numbers you have. By doing so, you would have the capacity to make sure you persuade all the Southeast governors to follow. By doing so, you will have the capacity to, mo to mobilize the people of Southeast behind a particular agenda. But the way it is now, which of the states will Southeasterners support in a united front? None, of course. A Titi state is there, a Lu state is there, a Ba state is there, and Yoma state is there. Can't these legislators come on a round table Southeastern, Southeastern legislators and decide to push a particular state for creation. This has been one of the reasons why state creation has eluded the Southeast for so many years and decades. And if we continue in this format, if we continue in this way, it is not possible for us to achieve a Southeast state in a democratic system like that we have now. Because the man pushing for a loose state will not support a Titi state. The man pushing for a Nyoma state will not support a Ba state. The man pushing for a Ba state will not support a Titi state. The man pushing for a Titi state will not support a Nyoma state. At the end of the day, we will achieve nothing because of the disunity amongst our National Assembly members in a bid to achieve state creation. I think this is the time for leadership. This is the time for oneness. This is the time for unity among Southeast legislators. This is the time to drop personal agendas. This is the time to focus on the benefit of the whole. Politics is not every time about what you achieve as an individual. Politics is most times about what you achieve as a collective. Southeast needs an extra state, yes. But that can only be achieved if Southeast legislators come together, push a particular state, mobilize other leadership be, be, be behind that agenda, 
And then the National Assembly will see that there is seriousness. Other zones will also see that the Southeast is serious to achieve state creation. That is my opinion on this. My name is Emeni Kerebu. I am the publisher of All Facts newspaper. You can read us up on our, on our website, www.afnews.ng.